Hello, welcome to another video. Today I am going to be working on the Morris. It's been a long time. Uh, it's actually probably been a good couple of months since I actually did anything on that. Um, but I'm going to be fixing those brakes. Work on the brakes today. That's something I've been putting off for a long time. Need to get done because um, I think I've told, I said in a previous video, Heather, the wife, is pregnant. Um, she's getting bigger already and we don't know how long it's going to be before she can't get in the passenger side of the midget. Uh, we still want to go out and make the most of the weather since we've been in lockdown for so long. Um, it's nice to get out so get yeah, I need to get the and start using that instead of the midget or when the time comes we'll be using that. So first thing I want to do is find out if the midget actually starts. Uh, it's been, it's only been a couple of weeks it's been in there, so it should be okay, it should be fine. And I'm gonna get my bike out and pull the Morris forward. Okay, so this week I've been busy. Uh, I say I've been busy, this took me all about 10 minutes really. This is the brake pipe I have made. Now you can buy these for about 15 pounds online. Um, but seeing as this is a budget build and I managed to get hold of the old unions from the previous owner. He had the whole brake pipe, but it was all twisted and buckled. So um, he managed to get hold of those and I thought, meh, let's make a new one. What I was actually going to do is make a video showing you how to make a brake pipe. Even bought my flaring kit home. However, the actual flaring end that fits these pipes happened to be missing. So I ended up doing it at work, hence no video for that. But it's here. Now, let's see if I can get you under the car to show you. Uh, there we are, you can see the brake hose there, and I'll try and highlight it in the video. That's where it's going to, and I'm not entirely sure, yeah, I think it goes up in that hole there, and comes through the chassis leg, to come out here, into this banjo bolt and union. So this banjo bolt here, if you can look and see in the hole, there's my front brake pipe there, so that goes in there like that, and then the rear one goes in there. Now, because I made this at work, made the pipe at work, um, there is a chance I've measured wrong. If it's too long, I can maybe put like an S-bend in it if you want to really bodge it, or I can just remake the ends at a later date. Um, if it's too short, then this video is going to go to scrap, and what I'm talking to you about now, you'll never see. So. Let's unravel this and see see if it fits. Alright, all jacked up and if you do use a jack, also use an axle stand. I've gone on the chassis rail there. Just extra bit of safety. Um, now I have had a quick look. Straightened out my brake pipe-ish. And if I put that roughly where it's going to go in the front, you can see it goes quite a way back. And it kind of goes in line with the contact patch of the tyre. And if you look under there, it's kind of not quite where you want it, but I think there should be enough space to do something with it. I've got a hole there, which I noticed from inside, you can see daylight coming through there. So more welding. Um, I will also have this bit here to patch up um, when it eventually goes to the garage. Underneath is solid. I think that's just going to be a case of cut out the outside bit and we'll weld a plane. This is, at the end of the day, a budget build. It's all just going to be patched together um, for that rat look. So, let's see if we can... Oh, let's go on the leaf. Oh, I do have a bit of a bad back, so if you hear any groaning that's different to the normal style of groaning, I apologise. So, let's feed that through there. It does actually look like I've measured that kind of pretty damn well. Um, my guess is the brake pipe's supposed to fit under here with this dodgy looking fuel line. But fuel line? No, it's wiring. That's the wiring name. So let's, let's have a look. You can see someone in the past has replaced brake pipes across the axle. So one less job for me to do. That's come well through there. Um, one thing I haven't done yet, probably be a wise idea. Uh, let's put you up 
up there. Hopefully you can still see me okay. Um, I haven't checked to make sure these unions actually screw in okay. So let's quickly do that now. Oh, that's not a good start. That is not a good start. Oh, let's try putting it in the right end. I did read up somewhere that the uh, ends for front and rear are different for some reason. There you go. Right, if you put it in the right end, it works. So, that's good. That's going in quite nicely. Happy with that. Right, now, I'm not really looking forward to uh, having to sign up. There is such little access there, it is insane. But I think probably the first thing to do is put this in. Um, I'm probably going to do it off camera because that could take me, that might take me a while. I'm hoping the brake pipe won't be too bad to start off. Uh, again, once it's started, just turn it with a spanner. Um, and from the looks of things, if I hold that roughly where it goes there, it looks like you can tighten up the front one from outside, from out, outside the chassis wrap. Okay, it's taken a lot longer than it should have done. Feels like, I don't know, well over an hour. Ended up having to pretty much remove the brake master cylinder. Um, it, the final bolt, the front bolt, is kind of half in there. But we can finally fit this. It seems a bit ridiculous that this is the only way. I've tried doing it with just shoving my fingers down there. I tried removing this back plate, and as you can see, it didn't end well. Underneath, there's no access panel. So, that was me being totally wrong. Um, now, my thing is, that needs to be about there. I'm kind of hoping I can still get that down in the hole with it at that angle. Um, I'll do the final tightening of this when it's all bolted back in again. Um, and I'll probably actually get all, I'll probably get the front pipe on first. Because uh, that will just stop that from moving. So you've got washers on there. There's a big washer, no big washer there. And there's a slightly smaller washer at the front there. But that's all in. Um, I just now need to get that back in the hole. That's what she said. Um, a bit more jiggly pokery. Hopefully not another hour. Um, then we can just hook the pipes up. Okay, yep, we're in. Did not take as long as pulling it out. Thank God. Um, so next job, I'm going to get the front pipe in, which is the one that comes off that little T-piece at the side there. So let's go underneath then. See if I can do this with you. Um, right. I'm going to do it by feel, but I'm pretty sure you'll be able to see what I'm doing. Right, um, so here we are. This is the brake pipe here. And I need to blindly... Let's see if we can... Normally what I do in these situations is try and kind of straighten the pipe out. So it wants to naturally sit where it needs to go. Just makes it a little bit easier. You haven't got the pipe fighting you then. Oh, there we go. That felt good. A couple of turns. Oh, she tight. She just needs tightening up then. Right, I shall tighten that up without the camera so I can get out from under here and just do it by hand and then we'll do the one inside the car. That one is now in. Can't quite see it, but it is in. Uh, so next thing I need to do, um, I've got five eight span in here. I'm assuming that's what it is. Uh, that works. Just going to nip up the uh, oh, I suppose you call it a banjo bolt. It's not like a normal banjo bolt. I want to make sure it's all nice. Like, I don't want any leaks, especially seeing as this is a single line braking system if you have a leak anywhere you'll lose all brakes not like a modern car where, you'd, where it's split if you lose brakes normally they're split um like left front right rear um that's so that you don't just end up with rear brakes which are normally quite weak or 
front brake that's normally quite strong, um, you'd end up with one of each. So you get kind of a, a fair balance and you could stop relatively safely. Like I said, these ones, if you lose brakes, you lose brakes. Uh, so what's left now then is to try and get the pipe that I've lost up inside there into the end of that bolt. I've put the pipe into the banjo bolt. You can see it's not straight, so I've now got to try to straighten that pipe and then screw the union in. And once again, this is not really so I can show on camera. Right, that is now in. Let's grab the light. It's starting to get a bit dark now. There you go, you can see it's in, tightened up, hopefully tight enough. Uh, the front one on the banjo there is all tightened up and if I crawl around on the floor again you can see brake pipe is rooted now uh, the tabs you can see that one's quite a good example you can see how they sort of the pipe goes underneath them and they sort of fold under there we go like that. and then I've had to put a little less bend in the back where it goes into the hose just because I was slightly too long considering I literally measured it from outside the car knowing that the rear hose was just in front of the rear axle and obviously I could see where the master cylinder was and I literally got a tape measure and measured from outside from there to about there so pretty happy with that means you've got all the brake lines in uh, the only thing we have left to do, really, um, before we can drive it, is bleed the brakes, which will be next video. But just because, just because, it's been a while, Let's see if she starts. Well, that's a good start, we have no electricity. Have I disconnected the battery for some reason? Yes, I have. So you're just pushing that terminal one is not the right way to do this. Try again. You've got ignition under some random orange light. I got a little bit choked. I have cheated a bit. I have put brake cleaner in the float roll. I did notice in the float roll there's rust as well. So um, yeah, that's going to need some work. Sounds like she's running out of electricity already. Let's put the battery on charge, let's try a little bit more choke. Definitely got a fueling problem. As soon as she used up the brake pin, she wasn't happy, and I'm guessing now she's got no chance of stopping. I don't know, she does, just a bit rough. She's got ignition light as well, which is not good. Make sure you subscribe for that, hit the like button and I'll see you next time.